Imagine a world where Michael Jackson, the king of pop, is still alive, but in a form that no one could have ever expected maybe even as a devil or some other strange being. Recently, a group of Catholics in America claimed they saw someone who looked a lot like Michael Jackson in a church in Florida. But this sighting isn't just a simple surprise. It comes with a serious warning. This mysterious person might not just be a strange lookalike. Humans believe he could bring a new and terrible disease that might spread across the country. The thought of such a frightening presence has made many humans afraid, wondering if this figure is truly Michael Jackson or something much more dangerous, hiding behind a face they recognize. To make sure lots of people get to see this video and understand its message, we're asking you to please share it with others and think about subscribing to our channel. We hope this message touches your heart and starts some important conversations about spirituality and how it can change lives. If you agree with what we're saying, you can show your support by typing Amen. Your help spreading this message will make a big difference and help more people see it. In a busy town in Florida, the people of St. Mary's Church gathered for their usual Sunday service. The sunlight filtered softly through the stained glass windows, casting vibrant colors across the pews. It was a typical morning, with the congregation singing hymns and offering prayers, but something unusual was about to unfold. As the service went on, a murmur started to spread among the people. A man had entered the church sitting near the back. At first, no one paid him much attention, but as the minutes passed, more and more eyes were drawn to him. He was dressed in a black fedora, a sequin jacket, and dark sunglasses. His features were strikingly familiar too familiar. Whispers circulated through the congregation. Could it be? No, it can't be. Michael Jackson? The man sat quietly his head bowed as if in deep prayer. But something was unsettling about his presence. The resemblance to the late king of pop was uncanny, almost as if the famous singer had returned from the dead. People exchanged nervous glances, unsure of what to think. Was it a coincidence, or could it be him? As the service continued, those sitting near the back of the church began to notice something even stranger. Behind the man who looked like Michael Jackson, a dark figure seemed to hover, almost blending with the shadows. It was tall, with an eerie, unnatural presence that made the air around it feel cold. Those who saw it described it as a devilish figure, with glowing red eyes and a sinister grin. The devilish figure that lurked behind the man resembling Michael Jackson was a sight that struck fear into the hearts of those who saw it. Tall and shadowy, its form seemed to absorb the light around it, casting an unnatural darkness that contrasted sharply with the sunlit interior of the church. The creature's body was vaguely humanoid, but twisted and elongated, with limbs that appeared too long and thin, as if stretched beyond their natural limits. Its skin, if it could be called that, was a deep, obsidian black, with a texture that looked like cracked, burn earth. Veins of glowing red pulsed beneath the surface, giving it an otherworldly, molten appearance. The figure moved with an unnatural fluidity, gliding rather than walking, its feet never quite touching the ground. The most terrifying feature of this devil, however, was its face or what passed for one. It had no distinct facial features, no eyes, nose, or mouth as humans would recognize. Instead, its head was a shifting mass of shadows, occasionally revealing flashes of a sinister grin, and rows of sharp, gleaming teeth that seemed to appear and disappear at will. Two glowing red orbs, like burning embers, floated where its eyes should have been, radiating malevolent energy that pierced the soul of anyone who dared to meet its gaze. Behind its back, a pair of massive wings unfurled, leathery and bat-like, with jagged edges that seemed to slice through the air. The wings, too, were black, but with veins of red that pulsed in rhythm with the creature's ominous presence. Every so often, the wings would twitch or flutter, emitting a low, unsettling hum that resonated through the walls of the church. 
fear rippled through the congregation. Some tried to convince themselves it was a trick of the light, a figment of their imagination, but the unease in the church was palpable. The mysterious man remained silent, unaware or perhaps uncaring of the fear he was causing. When the service ended, the man stood up and slowly walked out of the church, the dark figure seemingly following close behind. No one dared to approach him or ask questions. As he disappeared into the bright Florida sun, the churchgoers were left with a lingering sense of dread. What had they just witnessed? Could it have been Michael Jackson? And if so, why was a devil following him? Over the next few days, rumors spread like wildfire through the town and beyond. Some believed it was a sign, a warning of something terrible to come. Others thought it was a prank or a case of mistaken identity. But those who had been in the church that day knew what they saw was no ordinary occurrence. The story of the man who looked like Michael Jackson, with the devil lurking behind him, became the talk of the nation. Some claimed the mysterious figure would bring a new plague, a disease that would sweep across the country, leaving devastation in its wake. Whether it was true or not, the fear and uncertainty it caused were very real. And in the hearts of those who were there that day, the question remained, what had they truly seen? And was the world about to face something far more sinister than anyone could have imagined? Among the people who witnessed the unsettling scene at St. Mary's Church, a growing fear began to take root. Whispers spread through the congregation, and soon the entire town was buzzing with speculation. Some were convinced that the mysterious person, who bore an uncanny resemblance to Michael Jackson, was more than just a curious look-alike. They believed he was a sign from hell itself, a harbinger of doom sent to warn humanity of impending catastrophe. The sight of the devilish figure trailing behind the man only fueled these fears. To those who saw it, there was no mistaking the malevolent energy that radiated from the creature. It wasn't just an ordinary shadow or trick of the light. It was a manifestation of something far darker. The connection between the man and the devil was undeniable, and many began to believe that this was no coincidence. Some people in the town started to say that this mysterious person was a symbol of hell's influence creeping into the world. They feared that his presence was an omen, a sign that the boundaries between the earthly realm and the inferno were weakening. The devil following him was not just a mere escort but a companion on a sinister mission to bring chaos and suffering to humanity. The most terrifying belief that took hold was that this man could bring a terrible disease to the world. The idea spread quickly, with stories circulating about how hell's agents could unleash plagues and pandemics upon the earth as a way to punish or test humanity. The thought that this mysterious person might be carrying such a curse ready to unleash it upon an unsuspecting world, sent waves of panic through the town and beyond. In hushed conversations, people spoke of the plagues from ancient times, the stories of how diseases had once ravaged entire civilizations, and how now, in modern times, something similar could happen again, but on a scale never before seen. This disease, they feared, would not just be a physical ailment, but a spiritual one corrupting both body and soul. We're deeply grateful for your time and for sharing in our Catholic faith. May the messages we've shared inspire and strengthen you on your journey. Stay blessed and connected to the love and teachings of our Catholic tradition. God bless you.